Hey there handy friends. So real quick, we have a quail that's living on our homestead and we live in an urban homestead, only one acre and we're next to a really busy street. So let me show you, we're gonna sacrifice this worm and try to get the quail to eat it. But yeah, we put down some bird seed too. Let's see what happens. You see its wing? How its wing kind of has like a hole in it? A little bit on the right there. It's on one foot. So cold. All right, let's catch it. Don't, don't run. So we've got the bird, um, we happen to have small dogs, so we have small dog cage. We got the bird, it's really funny because my mom, she told me to um, catch it with the towel and that's exactly what I did. She watches these rescue shows and that's how they rescue these birds and as soon as I put the towel over, over the bird it like instantly went to sleep. It's totally amazing. So it's in the cage, in the towel, and um, then we put a... We put a blanket over that cage to keep it really dark in there and I guess the bird is asleep. I'm feeling kind of nervous right now because it's really still and hasn't made a sound and I just feel like if I was that bird I'd be freaking out right now. But um, we are on our way to the next town over. Um, I called our nature center and got a uh, bird rehabilitation person and she's been really sweet this whole time. I called her before I caught the bird and asked if she could help and I do think the bird is wounded. Um, we all, all of us in the family agreed the bird's wounded. It's really cold and so um, we are taking the bird to the person that's gonna help and also probably hold on to it until it gets a little warmer out. It's negative seven today so um, I just wanted to mention another thing too. This is not the first time, second, or even third time that, that this has happened on our homestead. Granted, we do live by some woods, but 
um, there's a lot of people that live closer to the woods than us, but these animals, it's kind of like they gravitate towards our property. And so this has kind of happened like a deer got hit by a car um, a few blocks over before and actually passed away in our yard. It was horrible. Um, but we've had, and we've had other animals that were in need of help come to our yard and it just so happened that we noticed them and we were able to help them. So um, I am not putting out bird seed right now for the birds. I should be. I have the bird seed. Honestly, just been lazy. So I had some bird seed around. But honestly, like, there's no reason for this quail to have come to our yard. Because, like I said, I'm not feeding. So, sorry. Saw the bird and um, put the feed out to try to uh, give it something because it was picking away at the grass. We had a, shoveled a little path and um, the bird was picking at the grass trying to get some food. So, and as, and then, as you saw earlier, we did sacrifice a worm. So that's what I got for you, and uh, we'll get back to you. So we're back at the homestead, and we got to meet this wonderful lady and her husband. Um, her name is Liz, and she runs Liz's Little Wildlife Rehab, and it's in Portage, Michigan. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple links below. She is nonprofit and she is doing this all out of her own pocket and love and she does accept donations so if you're eager to help you can go ahead and reach out to her by hitting up her Amazon gift list or you can just donate straight to her um, PayPal and I'm gonna put those links below so make sure you check that out also check her out on Facebook and give her that thumbs up give her a like and you can see uh, current updates and video on the Chikar partridge. So that's confusing me just a bit. It turned out he's not a Bob White. He is a Chikar partridge. And um, because of that, we have been laughing and giggling, calling him Bob. So we're just going to go ahead and keep him that name and we're calling him Bob. But uh, turned out he is a partridge and he's in doing really great. And um, you should check that out on Facebook and if you like what you see give us a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more updates stay handy friends